mashed potatoes are done for some good eating sometime this week either today or tomorrow and also on saturday when we put on our pizza toppings and that's a really good thing is you can take mashed potatoes and use them for so many different things you can use them in um, potato pancakes or the just the regular mashed and gravy or then you can add pizza toppings and then it's tastes just like a just like pizza potatoes so hope you enjoy that and there's gonna be more today what goes better with mashed potatoes than some gar uh, good old gravy well this is a mary mcdougall recipe called creamy golden gravy and i'm going to show you how i make it uh, i make up a double batch just because we make up a big batch of mashed potatoes because we're doing a potato reset this week and let's get started so you start out with four cups of broth here i just use some better than bullion uh, roasted veggie um you just pour that in and make sure you get out all the bits on the bottom because you don't want to waste that definitely don't want to waste anything so you just scrape that out make sure you get it all so then here's what we're going to do we're going to have some it's uh six tablespoons it says but i usually use a little bit less just because the broth is a little bit salty so i use about five tablespoons of liquid aminos that happens to be the Briggs brand pour that in and we buy that by the gallon and we can turn on our burner get get it going here actually turn it up on high so we can get it actually cooking get it boiling real quick i have this actually on a rapid boil burner so that makes it quick so here's what actually makes it creamy you got the uh, tahini and this is actually one of the best tahinis that we've found out there we've been using it quite a bit and it says put four tablespoons in so i put in approximately four tablespoons got to remember recipes are just a blueprint you want to change things up change things up want to put more of something in there because you like it better go ahead so then we'll put that down get the spoon that we used earlier scrape it out because again we don't want to waste anything we want to make sure we get everything in the pot so now we got to do what it always says we shouldn't do is try and watch a boil pot start to boil we'll just give that a good little stir there and we'll come back to it when we're ready see i told you it was quick it's already boiling and you got your whisk ready to go you can give it a little whisk while you're with well you get ready to do something here what is it that you're going to do you're going to put in what's known as the magic ingredient for this gravy to make it for with no lumps and what that is is i've got a half a cup here of brown rice flour and we're not using wheat flour because that lumps up but if you use the brown rice flour it actually doesn't brown up or lump up so once that's good and boiling then we'll go ahead and get the flour in there and then we'll let, let that thicken and we'll add a little bit of uh freshly cracked black pepper and one to taste you don't have to put it in if you don't like it but and the nice thing the one way you do the um do the flour is just to sprinkle it on top mix it in sprinkle a little more on top you know we'll i'll show you here in a sec but this is for our mash that i showed you earlier it is going to be a good meal now you can have any kind of vegetable with this you can have corn beans um roasted 
cauliflower and broccoli like I got today. Um, you know, we got some zucchini in the in the fridge that I can slice up, and we can either steam or uh, air fry in the oven. Our oven is actually an air fryer besides a regular oven. So that's a lot of neat things you can do. I lied before. It's not boiling. It was just thinking it was boiling. No, it's actually getting there, though. With, with all good things, it takes time. Time is a something. Got to have patience just to get there. Sometimes patience is hard. But it's a lot better when you have it boiling because when it boils, then it actually um, it actually helps thicken the, the gravy a lot quicker. Oh, now we got some boiling going on again. Okay, here we go. So here's what you do. You just sprinkle a little bit of the brown rice flour in there, stir it in. Sprinkle a little bit more in, stir that in. And you'll see in a second here, I'll take take it and let you see what what it's looking like over the top here and then You can see it doesn't take long to actually incorporate this brown rice flour into it. You can just finish it off just like that. Give it a good whip here or stir. Turn the burner off because it's done. Then you can you can take and put a little bit of black pepper in there. Give it a good flavor. Ooh. Careful, sometimes it'll splash up on you and maybe even burn you. That's never fun. So here's what the gravy looks like. Look at all nice and creamy and that goes really good on mashed potatoes. So Hope you learned something today, and if you did, give it a like and a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you again later. Here's the actual gravy I was making, and look at how nice and thick that got. And that was mere minutes. And you take a look at that, that's some good gravy.